All right, so this is a quick update video on my linear rail router sled. I'm calling this version 1.5 because I just really added on this handle right here and then these bearing blocks at the very end to give me a little bit more width as I'm cutting. Uh, if you haven't seen the first video, I'll put a link down in the description and I will try and put a link right here. I don't really know how that works, so we'll see if that actually works out. Uh, if you are new to this and you're looking to buy some rails, I'll have all the links down in the description. You can get those off of Amazon. So the first thing that I added were these two pieces of wood. I just cut these out on the bandsaw real quick. And then this three quarter inch piece of aluminum bar. I would have used a dowel, but I only had aluminum bar in my shop. So I put this on to turn the motion from a pistol grip of my uh, Bosch router into more of a pushing motion. Um, this actually helps a little bit when you're trying to cut something further away. You're not feeling like you're reaching over the table as much. Uh, so this has definitely helped me out a ton. Now, moving these bearing blocks to the very end of the rail gave me enough space where I was able to cut this huge cookie, but it made it so actually it's wobbling around a little bit more. For me, that's not a huge issue because it's not really affecting the quality of cut that I'm getting, but if you're running dados or something or a track saw, that might turn into something where even the littlest bit of motion can cause you to kind of screw up your workpiece. So I still do believe that you can lock these things down and create nice clean cuts. So I have ordered four new bearing blocks and I'm gonna put two at the very end of each of these. And I'm gonna run a piece of material across them so that I can lock these in place. And hopefully this will give it a little bit more rigidity when I'm cutting so that there's nice clean lines. Um, but like I said, even if the lines aren't really that pretty and clean, the truth is you're gonna be sanding all that out anyways and I don't think it's that much of an issue. So thank you everybody who's been commenting down below and telling me how they're using these things. I was very surprised to see somebody on my last video saying that they were gonna be using it to cradle a digital camera to map out large pieces of art. Uh, never would have thought about something like that. So I think that this, uh, this big world's pretty cool and that a lot of people are doing some awesome things that I will never even understand. And if I can help people in any kind of way, I'd like to. If you want to, use the links below. Uh, and this is something that's gonna cost $200 super simple to put together. I know that probably in a year or two, somebody is going to have a packaged linear rail router kit uh, for sale on Amazon for probably $450. Uh, and that's all well and fine. That's how capitalism works. Uh, I thought about it myself, but I just don't have enough time to do that. So just know you can order these things. I know, I know it can be kind of confusing with all the numbers and stuff, but just follow the links below. I swear it's gonna work out just like this. And for 200 bucks, you're gonna have something that you're really gonna like. And obviously can customize in your own shop to meet exactly um, your needs. Yeah, so thanks for watching. And I will see y'all next time when hopefully I've created the full version two of this and it is a lot better. Thanks, bye.